Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to improve your grade in math class. I've recently been having the worst trouble focusing, especially now that everything's online, so I've put together some tips that might help you if you're in a similar situation. Here's a quick overview of all the tips I'm covering today. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more math tutorials and tips. Let's go. My first tip is to attend class and stay focused. Make sure you're going to school every day, attending class on time, and paying attention with no distractions like texting, YouTube, or TikTok. The worst thing you can do for yourself is actually make the effort to show up to class, but you waste it by being distracted the entire time. I'm also a little self-sabotaging, like even if I don't have my phone directly on me, sometimes my mind ends up distracting itself and I start daydreaming. I don't know if anybody else does this, but my mind starts wandering if the teacher's going too fast or even too slow, which I guess is bound to happen since they're trying to teach like 20 other kids at a time. So if a teacher's going too slow, that's great. That means you understand the concepts, but still try to take notes on the things you already understand because it'll keep you paying attention. Don't be tempted to reach for your phone just because you understand what they're covering now. You might not understand the next topic, so stay engaged. On the other hand, if your teacher's going too fast, try to catch as much as you can in your notes. If you're comfortable, you can ask the teacher to slow down or have them re-explain a concept during class, but if you're too shy or awkward like me, I try to copy down at least the name of the concept, and I'll add a question mark in my notes as a reminder to Google it or look it up on YouTube later. There are lots of great supplemental tools in your textbook and online if you're not understanding stuff directly in class. Number two, find a style or format of notes that works for you. Good and effective notes allow you to one, remember the concepts better that are taught in class, and two, they'll also serve as a reference for you when you're doing homework or studying for a test. The same style or format might not work for everybody, but at least for my own notes, I usually write the overall topic in bigger letters then underneath, I'll copy down practice problems the teacher goes over in class and little notes to myself that will help me understand each step. This way, when I'm trying to finish my homework or study for tests, I can easily find which concept I'm looking for from the header. Then hopefully there are already step-by-step -step notes and instructions in my own words that will help me get the answer. Number three, do your homework. The best advice I can give for doing well in math is just to do your homework. Watching your teacher or YouTube videos go through example problems isn't the same as doing them yourself. Just like how you can't learn to ride a bike by watching someone else do it, you can't learn math concepts by watching other people do it. A kid will fall over tens or hundreds of times, but each time they're learning what works and what doesn't work. Maybe I'm getting a little too philosophical here, but math is sort of the same way. Every time you're stuck on a hard problem, you're trying things that may or may not work, which is totally normal. It's okay to struggle, it's okay to ask for help, it's all part of the process. Just stay caught up and do all the work, or else it'll build up and feel like an avalanche of work and concepts that you don't understand. Once you fall behind, especially in math, it's hard to catch up. Number four, breaking down tough problems. So have you ever been fine during class, you understand all the concepts, you take killer notes, but you get to the homework and it's like you have no idea what's going on. It's all good, it's totally normal because math is about problem solving. And usually you can refer back to your notes if you can't remember the exact steps to get to the answer, but sometimes you won't have the exact example problem and answer. So the first thing you have to do is make sure you have all of the concepts that were covered in class down, because these harder problems usually combine more than one concept into a single problem. For example, if you're learning how to solve linear equations, try to go back and review all the concepts you've learned. For example, combining variables, simplifying, distributing, whatever. You've learned all of these tools during class, and now you have to see if you can use those tools in the right way to solve the problem. Also, on the other hand, you might spend 10, 15, maybe even 30 minutes on a single problem, and you quickly realize that some problems are just a lost cause because it doesn't involve anything you've covered in class. 
For those, I try not to get too frustrated and I'll resort to Googling. If I'm lucky, the exact answer will be posted online somewhere else. But if I don't get lucky, I'll still try the problem and show my work. And I'll mainly just hope that the teacher gives me partial credit. This kind of ties back to the last section we went over, but if you're already behind on math, the best way to catch up is to do all of your homework. Get together all of the work that you haven't done and make a plan for yourself to catch up. Even if an assignment is two months old, you should start doing them and turning them in. It might look like a lot at first, but you don't have to do it all at once. Depending on how behind you are, you might want to do anywhere from one to three catch-up assignments per day or even more over the weekend. I don't know what your situation is, maybe you're sick or you had other things going on at home or you were just lazy, which happens sometimes, but you should always make an effort to catch up in math because the concepts build on top of each other. If you don't understand something from unit one or two, it might I mean, it actually will probably come back and haunt you, so you might as well get ahead of it now. If you spend a little bit of time every day, you'll catch up even if it takes some time, and it'll feel like a good accomplishment. Once you're caught up, if you're truly, truly terrible at math, like really terrible, and math just does not click in your brain, you might want to start looking ahead in math. I know, I know, you don't need to be the new teacher's pet or anything, but it actually helps you feel smart and motivated if you already know what your teacher is talking about. You don't need to be doing extra hours of work. You can do something easy like looking ahead in the syllabus and watching 5 to 10 minute YouTube videos on the topic so things feel familiar when you're in class. Just think of how easy it is to spend an hour wasted on YouTube, so just take 5 to 10 minutes of that time and invest it in math. Lastly, if you're really struggling, ask your teacher for help. Usually they'll take mercy on you if they see you're truly making an effort. They might let you retake tests, turn in late homework, or do extra credit because, believe it or not, teachers want you to succeed and they'll help you get there. Bottom line is, if you're in a crappy position of not having the best grades for whatever reason, you're going to need some help and hard work to dig yourself out of it. It's going to be tough, but you can do it. That's all the tips that I had for today. Again, give this video a thumbs up if this did help you out. Also, let me know in the comments below what you do for your math class. See you in the next video.